with Chuck's Guitar Geekery. Today I'm doing yet another pedal shootout because I have both and I was just curious what they sounded like side by side, so why not turn on the cameras and make some YouTube magic? Maybe. I don't know. We'll see. But I have a Fuzz Face clone and a Proto Rat. I don't know. They're kind of similar, but kind of not. Let's just go through the sounds. Uh, I have this guitar, yes it has humbuckers and fuzz phase, it's like single coils, but I do have it in single coil mode, so I'm running into a clean amp, sounds like this, and before I go any further, please like, subscribe, ring the notification bell, and have affiliate links for Amazon and eBay if you want to grab one of these for yourself. The fuzz phase clone I actually got off, the only place I found it is Sweetwater's used gear exchange, it's made by a company called Dad Tech. Small outfit, handmade in the US. Fun pedal, but it does that fuzz face thing. So, anyways, clean tone. <laughs> So, I'd say they're both in similar territory on this higher gain stuff, but they each do different things. So, while I'm still in this higher gain mode, let's see how they react to the guitar's volume knob, because that's what makes a fuzz face a fuzz face, really. When you roll back the volume knob at all, like, it really changes the input impedance to the pedal, and it completely changes how the pedal sounds. So, let's do that, and the rat doesn't really clean up like that, so... And I will say I have 50s wiring in here, so it does retain a lot of trouble when rolling back, so. Fuss face.
So let's see how the rat reacts to that with a similar amount of gain. Like I said, each one does things the other one really doesn't do. So the rat, it really it does do a nice light overdrive, surprisingly. Fuzz face, on the other hand, doesn't really do that. Okay, so for this last test, I'm actually going to stack it into an overdrive pedal. Why not? I've got the DoD Overdrive 250, which to me, like when it's set low, kind of mimics a tube amp, bring it up. I don't know, maybe it's in my head, but this is without the 250.
Honestly, I th I don't know. I like layering dirt pedals into a dirty sound. That's just fun. You know, whether it's a crank damp or an overdrive pedal or something set to a light gain, it works. Now, I will say with a fuzz face circuit, if you're going to be running to a clean amp, it pretty much only sounds good when you have the gain all the way up. But if you're running into a dirty amp, you can back the gain back a little bit. And what that does is it gets like a real big fat tone to it, really. And then when you roll the volume pot back going to a dirty sound, it, I don't know, it doesn't get as ice picky. It kind of smooths it out, you know. Really, if you watch like live videos of Hendrix when he's using the fuzz face, like a lot of his rhythm tones were just backing off with the fuzz face on. And going into cranked Marshall amps, it just worked. Now the rat, really a rat can go from like, it pushes the same frequency that a Klon does really, maybe with a little more low end to it. So at the lower gain settings, it can pretty much mimic a Klon. It gets a good, you know, crunchy gain to it, good distortion to it, and then it gets on the border of fuzz. <laughs> to me, it's a fuzz that will sit in a mix probably better than the fuzz face will. Definitely better than the Big Muff did, but I don't know. If you have a rat, you can definitely get into fuzz some fuzz face territory with it. And if you have a fuzz face, you can do some rat territory with it. I don't know. They're closer than I thought they would be. But the rat doesn't do that cleanup thing that the fuzz face does. But the fuzz face is a lot noisier. I didn't really demonstrate that, so that's the rat. It's still pretty noisy with this amount of gain. I have a light here, that's probably not helping either. And that's a fuzz face. Rat, fuzz face. I don't know if you can see the light, but there you go. So yeah, anyways, what do you think? Let me know what you think. Comments in the sec uh, comment section help with algorithms and algorithms are king these days. So like and subscribe, affiliate links below. I said all that earlier, but uh, bears repeating. Till next time, see you later.